Welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm going to go over Alta. Alta was the gap of the week. Not this week, but the week that we did it. Uh, gosh, we're like a week and a half ago now. Uh, really, trade after trade after trade after trade. Really nice movements in this stock. Whether you day traded it, whether you did puts, um, it was just one of those gaps where you just kind of sink your teeth into. And we don't get them every day, for sure. So when you get them, you got to make the best of the good ones. So let's go over it. Again, this is an advanced trade of profit. Some options trades, one day trade. We'll go over everything, 42495 Let's go over the trades. You can watch me on Fox Business or Fox News. I'm on talking about the market. You can call me if you have questions at Melissa at the stock, swoosh.com. Um, or email me at melissathestockswish.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. But I look and focus at one thing, one gap, one stock, like Alta. I can see it in the morning, and I literally, days like when we get the Alta, I don't even look at anything else. I mean, that's how fine-tuned I am with my rating system. It's a 26-point rating system that really pinpoints um, the gap itself, and then I can tell that this is a good one. I mean, you still got to wait for the setup, and you still got to wait for the entry, but this was a really nice gap in Alta. So the day trade in Alta, if you're in the live trading room, entry was 251.48. This is an equity trade, so you have to have a margin account to do this, or a prop account. It could be a proprietary day trading firm or a retail firm. Entry was here, stop was 256.80, so it wasn't small, but you got to look at the cost of the stock. Stops vary, I teach this in the class, share size 500, exit, beautiful move, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful move, even with that stop 244.75, $3,365, so this was the day trade, in, out, boom, boom, and as you can see here, the low of the day was way, way, way past 244.75, so you could have held this down as a day trade, and you could have done a couple, couple of day trades in this on the day, that's your option too. Now for the Option trades, I called. I called the 245 puts, okay, which obviously worked. That broke 240 in the day. Nice trade. Again, risk 7,500 for advanced trader. Profit 8,500 is more than 100%. You're usually looking for one to one. Okay, that's a good ratio to look at. Then this was another one. This was, again, I was looking at a couple different dates. You see here, this is 9.16, 9.13. The previous ones was a 9.20. So sometimes I'll look at a couple different dates for something if I think it's going to continue um, and then try to do a quick one and the continuation. Cost of this one, $9. A little more expensive. Eggs of 21. Big move in this. Again, continued. Profit, 9600 Very nice move. Risk was 7200 Again, more than 100% return on investment. This was a great gap. And again, this is a little bit less than the other one, but still, it depends really when you're looking at the strikes. Uh, this was a higher strike, cost $8, risk $7,200, exit 18. I mean, this was a nice move. Nine contracts, boom, boom, boom. So again, when you're taking it down and you're trying to get it, 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 you know, I teach this in the class, but you're looking at one, the setup for the entry, two, the momentum that's happening in the option chain, and three, time of the day, and also watching what the market is doing on these particular days, because sometimes you can get bigger moves if you have something particularly with the market. Uh, cost of this one here, this was the far, far away, it seemed like, but it really wasn't, to be honest with you. Uh, $4 for the 230s. Again, these were all called on the Friday. Um, 18 contracts, you could have taken more because the price obviously was a lot cheaper. You want to keep your risk close to the same on all trades, day trades and options trades uh, in a group. You could do different for the day trades, different for the options trades, but either way, you have to be consistent with what you're doing. Profit, 5400 Again, really nice move. And then this was another one. I just, you know, when you get something good, you play it, play it, play it, play it, play it. I mean, that's my philosophy, and it's been my philosophy all year. We did that with Target. We did that with Disney. We did that with BYND. We did that with Ulta. Um, you you got to make the money with the good ones. Uh, cost five eighty. Thirteen contracts. Risk seventy five forty. Exit ten ninety. Profit sixty six thirty. Again, this was out for a while. You could have held this if you wanted to. Anyways, really nice week in Ulta. Advanced trader total of 42495 Again, the risk on the options trades was around 7000 
And the risk in the Dane trade was not that much. Again, that was a quick trade, but you could have done it twice and you could have held it down. But you have to define your risk. It's based on the size of your account and your experience. Your experience, okay? Now here was the day trade chart, just to take a look at it. Closed here, gap down, dropped. I just wanna show you how this had the follow through since then as well. So it'll be very interesting to watch to see really where Alta ends up. If you're interested in more information and you would like to learn my system and my method, I teach it once a month in a class called the Golden Gap Course and that is how I knew Alta would work. It was a short, it was a put, it was lower. It was a great call. It was a great call. Uh, the next class is September 21st and 22nd, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time. Cost of class is $64.99. Class is online. It could be anywhere in the world and take it. Every trade in Alta worked. It was a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous move. I'm looking forward to earnings season, and we'll see what happens in the month of September. Good luck, everyone, and have a great day.